Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm out here today. I'm fixing to make y'all a quick video, give y'all an update on my garden, um, how it's doing. And I um, apologize for the wind. It's real windy today, but if I don't get out here and get it done now, I won't be able to get you a video downloaded, so hopefully you can hear me all right. Um, first, I'm just bring you over here and uh, show you how uh, what we're doing in this little spot right here beside my firewood. I won't show you all that. We got all our firewood um, split. And there's Mr. Wheelie. Hey, Wheelie. Hey there, boy. He's a good little puppy dog. Well, I call him puppy dog. He's, I can't remember now. He's probably getting close to two years old, not two years old now. But uh, here's a wood we got we got uh five uh rows of wood so we set on that and uh right here we uh trying something a little different we're putting some straw uh, not straw but um putting some pine needles around our uh mounds of tomatoes so we we got two different types right here we got the roma tomatoes right here on this front row and on this back row back here we got the beefsteak tomatoes and uh, we got some real heavy rain last night. Y'all can see all that right there. And then right over here, um, did another little spot right here at the end of our firewood. And uh, let me show you that right there. Look at that, y'all. American flag. Proud to be American. That's nice right there. All right, I got sidetracked y'all, sorry. <laughs> All right, right here, um, we have um, jalapeno peppers right here on the front. And uh, right over here, we're gonna have uh, mixed bell pepper. And right here, we're gonna just have green bell pepper. And on this back side back here, we have uh, some cherry tomatoes. So uh, we just got them uh, transplanted. Let me show you this right here real quick. Um, keep these in the back of my truck um, these are different cayenne peppers and banana pepper plants and I've got some um, tomato plants right there that I actually had on my grow light and I've already started letting them harden off out here uh, so uh, we're gonna be planting those uh, right off hand uh, let me see a little rut Rudiger tomato right there I don't think he's gonna do too good don't look like but you know, we just got different plants we got to get set out, but uh, this rain is so, been getting a lot of rain right now, and every other day, or, well, I think we had about four days of good uh, weather, and then had this rain come in, and uh, so hopefully we, we'll get it dried out, but you can see right here, uh, I've tilted up in there, and uh, just wet, and ain't nothing I can do about that right now, and I've got to get in here. You can see right here, I got little squash plants uh, starting to put some blooms out. Now, if you remember, I had these squash plants um, planted and I was transplanting from inside my house. And uh, I had to transplant them in the mud. And I normally don't like no transplanting plants, um, but uh, they may take hold. I normally just try to seed them directly into the mound. And... Uh, I just put them off in the mud and they starting to catch hold a little bit so I'm gonna leave them alone and I'll probably uh, just uh, plant me some more because I'm not really sure how good these are gonna do right here and uh, let me show you down here normally what I do I, uh, I take my garden area and I'll I'll you know plow the whole thing up but this year um, I, I'm not doing it that way because it's so bad about getting down here when it's wet and uh, so I decided just start do a little tiller different little areas up uh, well right here y'all I planted me three mounds of watermelon and um, you know they're they're not coming up and I'm not really sure why but that's all right because this year it's all about getting food and I'm not going to worry about uh, if they come up or not. Uh, I'll probably just plant tomatoes, something in this place. And uh, right here, 
I planted my green beans, two little rows of uh, bush green beans here, and uh, they haven't came up yet. So we're going we're going to give them about a week, and if they don't come up, we'll either plant something else here or try to replant them. But uh, not really. Like I say, it's hit and miss a lot of times. You know, get all this rain. Either sometimes the seeds could uh, get buried even deeper in the ground, or they could even uh, Right on you. Hey, Bubba. Austin Summers up there. We just came back uh, getting some uh, supplies. and uh, You have a good time, Bubba? Tell everybody hey. All right. Right here on my cucumber plants, um, I transplanted these out, and I'll just show you. I got some more. Um, I just trying some different things. I put that off in a bucket and cut holes in the bottom and sides to let the water come out. I just curious to see what it would do. Down that there too, and I planted some, sowing seeds and them coming up. Uh, these looking so terrible. I'll just be honest with you that you know I don't think they're gonna do much, but who knows? And over here I just made look like a little bed, and I had some transplanting them, and they didn't do good, so. I just sown some seeds and they're starting to come up. And same way here. I'm just trying different things this year. I've never done this before. Just want to see what you know what takes place, you know, doing different things. Um, right through here, I've tilled that up. And I was going to plant my cucumbers down there, sow them in the mounds, and um, see how, but you can see how wet it is right now. I'm going to have to wait till everything dries out. Here's some right here, uh, little cucumbers. Uh, these are national cucumbers I got planted here. And I'm gonna experiment. Uh, this particular mound is gonna be organic, you know, no fertilizer up under it. And this one right here is going to have um, fertilizer. So we're gonna see, you know, what's the difference, you know, um, in that. And down here, uh, we have some of these uh, national pickle cucumbers. and. These are some ones that I transplanted, and you can see the, you know, the leaves on them. Uh, I don't know, they just don't look good at all. So I came back and, you know, sowed some in there. And I've, I've mixed up some uh, different soil types, you know, uh, pot and soil and different things. Just going to see how they do in this versus my regular ground. So we just trying something different on that. And over here, I planted... Uh, well, I had some cantaloupe plants and they died when I transplanted them. So, you know, I'm not sure what happened to that. And I actually planted seeds in all these mounds, cantaloupes, and they've not came up. So, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that either. I'm probably going to be putting some uh, tomato plants in them or squash plants. Uh, and uh, right here, I just uh, tilled up a little spot. And, I know this seems like probably like a long video. I'm just kind of giving y'all a rundown real quick, uh, quick as I can anyway. Uh, right here, we have some more cucumbers. I'm not sure what type they're from years ago. Some real old seeds are uh, put on there that makes a, like a longer green type cucumber. So I'm not really sure, you know, what type it is. Right here, we got some butternut squash that I've planted. And, some of them didn't come up too good, so uh looks like I may have a couple plants. Like right here, I only got one coming up. I uh, got a couple right here. And then right here, I had some zucchini planting these two, and they uh, did not come up. So I just put my two tomato plants down uh, the other day. So um, we'll see about uh, how that does. And over here is where I got my tomatoes. Some of these already set out, and they're doing good. Um, uh, these are going to be Rutger uh, tomatoes right here. And uh, then right here, we got a cherry tomato right here. And we got a Roma right there. And a couple of these. And then we got some beefsteak uh, tomatoes growing. And, like this, and right there, it's got a leaf ain't looking too good on that. But we'll see how that does. And over here, you can see all that water holding right there. Um, we got really a lot of rain, heavy rain last night. And this clay, it really don't absorb water. It just basically water will sit up on top of the soil. 
until you know the you know dries out by the sun. But I had two rows of okra, and it did not come up, so I tillered all that up, and uh, we're gonna try to plant it again. But uh, just want to bring y'all this little update on my garden. Um, it's not looking too good right now, for most part. Uh, like I say, it's a work in progress. Um, I, I would like to say, you know, I had everything down and everything planted, and, uh, but you know, the weather and stuff prevented doing that so far, but you know, it's not looking too bad, you know, as uh, far as, you know, time frame. It's only, you know, early spring, so I got plenty of time to get this garden put out. Um, it just, I just gotta wait on the, the, the weather. Cause like I say, it takes so long for our ground to dry out around here. Then when it does dry, you know, we just have another round of uh, rain comes in and just kind of hampers, you know, getting out what you need to. And we have something to fail. Like I've had plenty of failures already. And uh, so we're just gonna be uh, working with that, you know, working around that. But our main focus this year, y'all, is going to be, you know, food. I mean, uh, we like cantaloupes, we like uh, watermelons, but you know, that's not our main focus at this point, you know. The way the supply chain is in stores and how everything's going, um, we're, uh, you know, changing our focus a little bit more toward, you know, uh, what we can put up and what we can can. And uh, that's why we really focus on tomatoes uh, a good bit this year. And I may go back, and I told Tasha the other day, may be going back and uh, plant me some more uh, seeds to start the seedlings there uh, as far as tomatoes because uh, we want to uh, you know have plenty of tomatoes and we have some you know come off early you know then we can come back behind them and plant some more tomatoes you know to, you know later in the summer you will know, have plenty of tomatoes um, all during the summer my dad you know he used to do that um, when he was growing gardens but he'd always cut his suckers suckers off his tomato plants so he would do it and I've done that too and I've got a video about that you know how to uh, uh, cut suckers and stuff and that that'll uh, save you from having to uh, go buy more tomato plants and um, but uh, we just came back from uh, town there getting some supplies I want to tell y'all this real quick and I know a lot of you know about it because you know you keep up with news you see what's going on and everything um, if y'all like me you like trying to be you know stocked up on things as much as possible you know try to have you know supplies you need around your homestead uh, but uh, one of the things you know uh, you might want to consider is how much uh, ammunition you have in supply uh, I just went up there you know uh, stopped at a local academy sporting goods to try to uh, buy some more ammunition and a nine millimeter to be exact and uh, the shells were you know they was completely empty so, uh, you know, who knows uh, how long, you know, we're going to have a uh, short supply of different things. So, you know, y'all might want to get out there and, you know, you think you might want to, you know, stock up on your ammo a little bit more or whatever. You might want to go ahead and try to do that because um, it seems like it's starting to begin, begin, you know, being short demand. Um, I picked up some uh, 223 ammo uh, and they still had a little bit of that left. But uh, I hear that the nine millimeter ammo and different ones, and, uh, it's going to be in uh, short supply. You know, everybody's picking it up. But uh, I just want to bring y'all this uh, update video today, and just a little bit of my thoughts there on uh, the ammunition. And uh, I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate appreciate all new subscribers. And um, we uh, just give a little update there. We. Uh, we got o over 1,000 mark on our subscribers, and we want to appreciate everyone who subscribed to our channels. We appreciate that very much, and I uh, appreciate y'all uh, continuing to watch our videos. And I uh, also found out uh, today that we actually met our 4,000 hour uh, mark to be able to monetize the videos. Uh, that's something I've not really been worried about. Uh, it's just one of them things that, you know, that. You know, I guess every YouTuber, you know, that gets on and makes videos, they kind of work toward. But, you know, I, I don't suspect, you know, there's much money in it, you know, for small channels like ours. But that wasn't our goal to begin with, is to make no money off of it. But, you know, uh, we'll probably monetize our channel. And, uh, 
but uh, that makes no difference to us whatsoever because uh, that's not the reason we started our channel. It's the reason we started our channel was to be able to share a little bit about what we do and maybe inspire people and also for us to have a you know a copy a lot of videos of going through uh, different things here on our homestead uh our kids growing up uh it's fun to look back on our videos we do i was doing it last i looked back on our uh, channel see different things we've done things that worked out for us some things that has not worked out so well yeah uh, it's you know it's always life like life is it's ever evolving it's changes but uh love seeing our kids grow up you know and uh, that's, that's real good and uh, but uh, appreciate y'all coming along y'all i better go ahead and get off here because i'll i'll start talking about something else y'all but i just wanted to uh, bring y'all along give y'all update on this garden day i hope everybody's doing well out there and as always friends from our family to yours y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye